Hi everyone, Shiva here with my weekly update. Back in the new studio space today, I've spent some time this morning just kind of cleaning up and getting all my stuff out, hanging up my paints, putting a few canvases and a few things that just to make it a bit more personal and a bit brighter. Whitewashing the walls last weekend has made a huge difference and this, the whole space is looking really, really nice now. So very excited about that. And I feel that it's it's just such a nice space. I, I, I feel really at home here which is good. So this week, um, well actually last weekend, um, I had a visitor uh, staying with me. So I, I did a few kind of touristy things, which is which is always good to just kind of look at your, your hometown uh, in the ways that other people look at it. But I did go to a really interesting exhibition called Invisible Women by a fellow Salt Space artist called Shona Wardrop. Unfortunately, it, it, it's closed now, but it's about um, the witch trials in Scotland and the women that were accused of witchcraft um, and she made this fascinating little booklet which is lovely. I love when you have something tactile to take away from a, an exhibition. Um, and the thing is that these women didn't have a voice. They've kind of been written out of history as, as so often happens um, to women and, and minorities but particularly to women. Um, so it was a really lovely exhibition, really thought provoking. There are a couple of some of the, the images that Shona has created there as well. Um, and also, of course, um, Paula Regal died this week, which is a great loss to everyone. And again, I wouldn't say that she was forgotten, but she probably wasn't given as much recognition until later life than many of her, her male counterparts. But again, another sad loss this week. But the other thing that I did this week was I went to the newly refurbished Burl collection here in Glasgow. Now that was a collection um, by Sir William Burrell, who certainly hasn't been forgotten. Um, and luckily for the world and for the city of Glasgow, he gifted his collection, which is massive, um, to the city. Um, and although I have some reservations about one man collecting that much stuff, um, it is an, a fantastic collection. And I really like the way that the, the renovation has um, has given, I think, the collection room to breathe. It feels it feels spacious and it feels like you can see the collection a bit more and understand it a bit more. Um, and yeah, some really clever interactive things that have been done. I, I really, really liked what they've done with the space and I like the way that things were, were themed, not chronologically, but by theme. So that was really interesting as well. So well worth a visit if you're in, in Glasgow. Um, yes, but um, this week, yeah, I think we all need to think about I suppose we all should be thinking about this all the time, but making sure that everybody's voice is heard and that we don't have invisible women, which is um, sadly still true. But anyway, I hope you're all keeping well and uh, hopefully now I'm getting more comfortable in my space. I'll be sharing more work with you very shortly, but um, thanks for all the shares and likes on Instagram. If there's anything that you'd like me to talk about in these weekly updates, then please do let me know. I um, always love getting your feedback and your comments. So until next time, take care. Bye.